Welcome, Wonders, to another episode of The Lyrics. You already know what it is, because Genius won't call me. All right, here we go. Today we are breaking down Serial Killer, written by myself and produced by Armando Colon for Launch Code Entertainment. Boom, 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 let's go! So where do I begin with Serial Killer? All right, I feel like this needs some, some context. This needs a backstory. So I was in a relationship and this relationship, looking back at it now, was very toxic. This person knew how to hit my buttons and make me react, um, make me move, um, and make me always honor their feelings instead of my own. I won't say instead of my own, but make me feel as if my feelings didn't have value. Now I was glossed over by the way that I really truly believed that I was in love and I, and I believe to a certain extent I was in love. But through it all I realized that I had fallen in love with their potential as opposed to who they were. There was this one instance, <laughs> we were with their friends and one of their friends leaned over to me and was like pretty much warning me that this may not be the way you want it um, and just to be careful. And I took that and I was like, whoa, that's big. But you know, in a, in a young mind, um, I'm instantly going, okay, it struck me weird. Number one, that you're that comfortable to say that. And number one, you were one of their best friends. So it's kind of, it was kind of like, whoa, like wh where does this, where did this come from? And then it was also, okay, well, are you jealous? And all of these other notions, but I should have just paid attention to the warning. That's what Serial Killer is mainly about, is not heeding to those warnings, those red flags when you see them, and staying in situations that are not healthy for you. The situation broke away and I realized that this particular relationship damaged me in a way that deconstructed my whole idea about love, um, what I thought I needed from love. Um, this relationship broke down all my notions of love and all my ideas of love. Um, and mind you, I was already in a hurtful place, in a, in a broke down place because my parents had separ separated and so that idea of love was kind of, it was deconstructed, it was broke down, it was kind of destroyed and I didn't know where to build because my parents, is, my parents their love was always the idea of what I always wanted. So being in this vulnerable state but not understanding that I'm in this vulnerable state, um, this person was able to come in and start adding their beliefs in on what is rubble and started clearing some of the rubble and constructing what I necessarily didn't want. My final straw with the situation is when it goes into the second verse and it actually explains when I realized that we had had an intimate moment on who I didn't realize was somebody that they had messed with um, in their room, on their bed, and it was a big situation um, when that happened, and that's when I realized that there's, there's no respect um, for me in this situation and how just those little details are very important. Um, and when you don't explain those to me, you take away the opportunity of me going into, some, into something with full knowledge. That was the straw that broke the camel's back and I realized that I was giving and I was giving and I was giving and I was being understanding and I was being understanding 
and I was catering and I was catering. But when it came down to me, there was no respect. Um, so eventually I wound up, um, uh, of course, breaking away from that. But that relationship lingered. I started going into each and every other relationship um, with that same concept of trying to uh, trying to find that potential that I saw in them, in someone else, in anyone else. Um, and that started to become the criteria, uh, the criteria of what I wanted out of anybody. My want for you blinded me. It was killing me. It was overwhelming. But I was in love. No matter how draining it was. You put a knife in my heart. I stood there and bled for you. Yeah. And it still wasn't enough. How much I gotta prove. Oh. After a while, I began to realize that, again, that was unhealthy. Um, gladly, I am out of that phase and I can see love for what it is um, without having an idea of what it is. Sometimes it just needs to come to you and you just need to be open to love. Um, so yeah, Serial Killer is about a warning. It's about people that take advantage of you. It's about people that take advantage of the heart for their own advantages and their own whatever so that's serial killer um i hope you enjoy the breakdown um i didn't go verse for verse because this was more of a story um but um yeah sometimes we want to hear the backstory you know what i mean so i'm giving y'all the backstory all right so i hope y'all enjoyed that and tune in next week for the next song boom see y'all later <laughs>